What's up guys, Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. I appreciate it, we just had 100 subscribers. Thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel. Uh, we're growing super fast, so hit the subscribe button at the bottom. I appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna go over another champion guide of how to gear specific champions. We're doing a ton of them today, so if you see me wearing the same stuff, it's all from the same time frame. I'm not wearing it consecutive days. Appreciate it, thank you. Uh, but we're gonna go over Lugan the Steadfast. I got him a while ago, but when I got him, I never used him. I put him in the vault. I was like, hey, he's okay. I'll just you know keep him in there. He was a, a vault guard. Uh, I got two of them in the pools, uh, so now I have to level up a second one because of how good he is for the Doom Tower. So we're going to go over what we're looking for, his skills, what we're going to get, and kind of the kind of gear sets that you really want to aim for for the specific champion. So let's get into it. Uh, first, we're going to go over the skills. Now the skills here, I made this guy because I was doing so bad, the scared boss for the Doom Tower. It's like, I can't beat this guy. I don't have the, the the rare that everybody's talking about to give me the shield set. So for the Doom Tower, the scared boss, you need somebody that has a shield and can put a shield up consistently. His A1 gives him a shield. So as long as his shield is big enough, he won't be, uh, it won't get taken off of him when the scared boss hits him. So that way you can hit him on another turn and kind of do some damage. So he's going to be really good for Faction Wars. He's going to help you out a lot through Faction Wars. He's going to help you out in Campaign and Dungeons. Uh, he's also going to help you out in Ice Golem. I found out he's really good in Ice Golem because of this ability right here. Uh, block cooldown skills, uh, meaning that on Wave 2, which is the hardest wave for Ice Golem, he can then stop that those two lizard men from doing their counter attack thingy you know, skill. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, so he does that. So he's really good for the Ice Golem. And he also helps your allies, you know, protect it with the ally protect buff. He's an HP champion. There's not a ton of good, there's a lot of good HP champions <clears throat> in this game. And this guy happens to be a legendary uh, with a uh, green affinity. So it's always good. His aura is uh, HP and faction crypt. So again, he's going to help out a lot in the faction crypts, faction wars. But we're all about this skill right here. I want this to hit as hard as possible and give me the biggest shield I possibly can get. So it heals all allies by 25% of the damage inflicted. Not his HP, it's really just the damage. For this guy, we're going to be aiming for damage, HP, crit rate, um, and speed. Because I want him to go as much as possible. So, uh, also puts a shield all equal to their max HP for two turns. So it plays a shield buff on this champion equal to 10% of HP for two turns. So I need a lot of HP, all right? So heals everybody by 25% and puts a shield percent uh, based off my HP. So he's not booked. He definitely can solo the Scarab boss. Masteries, we went down the War Master just so that he can hit harder. Uh, and we wanted speed because if my guys die around me, he gets faster. If he kills guys, he gets faster. So it's always good. Let's get into it. I'm telling you now, destroy set. <laughs> if you don't have a destroy set, save up for a destroy set. Don't throw. I always keep pieces that have speed offsets uh, in the sets that I don't that often I always get rid of the ones that don't have speed so all these sets uh, crit damage kept we got speed speed boots and speed like I always keep the sets that have speed and obviously look they're the destroy sets really good now so all right that's the first thing I'm looking for guys save up for the destroy set if you don't have the destroy set uh, use this set right here the um, the one from the clan boss, because it heals them 15, uh, 3%, so up to you know 9% each turn, just healing them, and it gives them extra 45% HP, which is ridiculous. So uh, he can be used in a lot of sets. My suggestion is just get as much HP as possible and as much damage as possible, so maybe Savage would be cool, Crit Damage sets would be cool, um, really just the HP sets and you know whatever. But mainly, I'm telling you now, save up for the Destroyer set. If you have this guy, you get the Destroyer set specifically for this guy. Or if you got an armiger, armiger, get it for the armiger, get it for the cold heart, get it for the people that you're going to be using against the crab boss. So there you go. So uh, first, I always start with the gloves. This guy said I was going to get as much damage out of him as possible, so I found a six star destroy set with two rolls in crit rate. You want crit damage gloves, but you can't have them unless you have crit rate. I want to get up to as much crit damage or crit rate and crit damage possible. So for my guy, I think I need more crit rate. Yeah, so I only have 89% crit rate. I want to get up to 100%, but I don't have the gear yet. So uh, we want to get as close to 100% as possible. If you're not at 100, it's not like a cold heart where you're just with. If you're at around 90, 95%, you, you should be good to go. But 
we got two roles in crit rate for, for this. So crit damage, crit rate. That's my first thing I'm looking for. He doesn't need accuracy. Like he, he needs it, but it's not mandatory. Um, you could always boost it up in his uh, in this accuracy banner. I don't have the accuracy banner on because I didn't need the accuracy, but this is a really good uh, HP roll for him. Like that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so it's not 16 down yet. So first thing is gloves. Once you get the gloves down, figure out where you're going to find them. Filter, gloves, crit damage, offset, crit rate. And then just look and it, put equipped because somebody might have gloves that you, that you didn't even know about. Like let's say this guy. He's got crit damage, 11% crit rate, not bad. It's on a speed set, which is pretty good. So look for the best one. Obviously, go down to the destroy to see if anybody in destroy has it. If they don't, you gotta pick another class. Or pick like a random offset like this. Like this guy has uh, crit rate, speed, and crit damage in a toxic set. But the other gear I have is the destroy set. So you don't need a destroy crit damage glove. You can have four pieces of destroy that aren't gloves and still get the destroy um, bonus, right? So that's the first thing you're looking for is the best crit damage glove that you have, right? So that, that's check number one. Now check number two obviously is speed. So I always want, I want to go as fast as possible. So I'm looking for speed boots with obviously crit rate, that would be great, uh, but HP, crit rate, this is just really good boots for this specific champion. So if I get right here, I got 18% crit, and then 12%, that's 30% right there. So it's 30% crit rate I have right there. Always remember the masteries. You get an extra 5% right there. So that's 35% crit rate with just two pieces, right? So I need 65% more in the next pieces, right? So this, I want to go HP. Did I pick HP? I picked HP. Okay, so HP. Now when I'm filtering, I want to go this, HP. Uh, and then substats, so if I'm looking for, you know, speed and crit, go speed and crit. If you can't find the speed, uh, make sure you get the crit. If you can't find the crit, make sure you get the speed. Uh, and then looking at like that. So again, look for the destroy set. If you don't have something in the destroy set, um, pick something else. Now, sometimes you might get, you might have to fine tune it. If you're newer in the game, you don't have that specific HP chess piece, get the best, next best thing, which would be either defense or, um, again, accuracy or, uh what else would be good solid hp um here's an example of somebody that i have in arena <laughs> look at that chess piece so this is a end game player who has a solid hp again i i just didn't have the time to just go in and find a specific gear piece to exchange this because it gives me an extra 16 percent uh speed so yeah, I could probably change it with this, but this has no speed. This has five speed. Okay, so I could probably change it with these because I don't know why I'm still using this, but that's an example. So let's go back to Lugan. Um, just get the next best thing until you replace it. But remember to replace it because I forgot to replace it. But uh, just get the best thing for this specific champion. Now the, the next piece that I usually go for is uh, whatever you need. So again, you want to try four. If you don't have the four piece, um, it, it's kind of pointless to get to get those pieces on the champion. So if you know that you have four pieces of destroy, use the best four pieces of destroy that you can get, and then obviously tune them to get better pieces. Let's go down to the destroy set. So this was the best uh, destroy set pieces. I, this is the destroy set piece I had. But if this was my See, if this was my only destroy uh, chess piece, I wouldn't use it. I'd try and go for like the other one. So if this was my set, we got crit rate, HP, speed, pretty good one for him. We have crit rate, good damage, crit defense, crit damage. All right, so this is probably gonna be the next best thing. If I didn't have a good chess piece, I would put this helmet on, all right? Same thing with, with the weapon. I have a ton of weapons for this. Attack, not, not the best, but crit rate. Speed crit rate, pretty good. Uh, speed attack, speed HP attack, speed attack. It'd probably be this one, or if I needed more crit rate or speed, I would go this one. Now with this one, I actually rolled two crit rate for here, 17 plus speed and HP, this is perfect. Uh, and this one was accuracy, speed, attack. So I could probably replace this. If I can get a better uh, helmet, let's see if I can find a better helmet. So we got nine speed with crit rate. So let's go down to here, immortal. Helmet. So what are we looking for? We're looking for speed, 
crit rate, I need more crit rate, more crit rate. So let's see, we can do a crit rate there, six crit rate there. So I could probably roll this one more time. Speed crit damage, defense. Look at that. Look at that. That we might have to replace it right there. Nope. Accuracy, speed, HP, but I need crit rate. Crit rate, crit damage. Look at that. If I read, roll that again, you get more of that. Hmm. We had a lot of, <laughs> like when you run the clan boss every day, you just get so much of this gear. Uh, just don't, don't be shy. Just throw it away if they're not like the best, um, because you're going to get more every single day. Okay, cool. So let, let's go for, let's go for this one. What did I tell you? This one? No. This one? Was it this one? Crap, we forgot. Jesus, okay, so it's probably this one. Guys, I forget which one it was. <laughs> uh, speed, accuracy, HP. No, we need more crit. That's what it was. Alright, so 10 crit rate, 16 crit damage. Uh, I lose 4 speed. And once this gets up to 16, I'll have more HP. Hmm. So five more crit rate puts me at 94% crit, but that's over 200 crit damage. Ah, the speed, the speed, the speed, the speed. It's four speed. I could probably boost up with Glyph. Hopefully that rolls one more. Guys, let's do it. Let's let's put this on there. So we're going to equip this, and then we'll get this up to 15. Once this gets... Uh, um, Artifact Enhancement event coming up, which I think is like in three days or two days, we're going to boost up to, to 16. That's my tip is go up to 15. Once there's Artifact Enhancement event, go to 16. It's like an instant uh, reward. All right, so what do we got? We got the Destroy set going. So we got all that. We got, uh, if this was my last piece, let's say this wasn't on it, I would filter Helmet and look for specifically Crit Rate. So if Let's say if we started over, this wasn't a destroy set, it was a random piece. Then you can get one more random piece on your guy and it won't affect you because you have four pieces of destroy set. And let's say your last piece, you really need crit rate. Just look for the, the highest crit rate that you can possibly get out of all of your gear. And if these aren't rolled, roll like one. If it's not crit rate, move on to the next. If it is crit rate, roll again. If it's not crit rate for the second roll, move on to the next. Um, like this, 13 crit rate, so if, that, if that's my highest, I'd probably roll two here. This is speed. So again, you're looking for your highest crit rate um, piece roll to kind of subsize. So let's say I needed 20 crit rate, all right? So I have all this, I'm up to 80% crit rate, but I don't have my helmet uh, filtered yet go look for the highest crit rate. It doesn't matter what set it's from. If you have another guy that it, it's equipped on them and you don't use them that often, let's say like like Mausoleum Mage, if I had 20 crit rate here, I would definitely take it off Mausoleum Mage, throw it on this guy, boom, that guy's set, right? Accessories, we got ring. I always wanna go uh, as high HP as I can find on the ring. For this one, I rolled really good for defense um, and it was a defense ring. Do I have an HP ring? Let's look at the filter, this, equipped, HP. All right, so we got this guy. Uh, he's got not a good ring. <laughs> this guy's a four-star ring. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why he's got that. 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown. It's pretty good. This one, HP. All right, so this has to, I probably didn't equip this because I didn't have enough silver <laughs> left. When I made this guy, I think I used all of my silver. Um, Baron has attack. HP, all right, so I rolled this, but this already rolled one in HP, so let's roll again. I don't want to equip it, let's upgrade it. So this is kind of how I upgrade my, my stuff, is go four at a time, just to see what you get. If this is another HP, we're putting it on right now. Come on. Oh my god. Oh god, RNG sometimes. You just, RNG, that's an extra 3,300, only uh, eight piece right there. But I lose 226 defense. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's dying, and I can roll defense again. So we're going to do it. Screw it. This is going on. 73,000 HP. That is awesome. Okay. 
Okay, so this can get up to 16. Um, I'm looking for HP, but really, anytime you get a banner, look for as much speed as you possibly can. That's the only accessories that you can get speed on. So whatever banners you have, filter it. Banners, I want banner equipped. So this one has HP, no HP percentage, no HP percentage. This one had an HP percentage, that's probably why I picked this one. And I only had five speed. Uh, but I rolled this so good speed or HP. But if it was two speed, I would still equip it because it's the way to get uh, speed in your accessories. All right. And obviously the last thing um, is either going to be the neck piece because it doesn't really matter um, or that's really it. Like <laughs> these three are like usually the last. Um, but the neck piece, look at that roll. Three on the neck piece with uh, this. This should definitely go up to 16 once uh, another event is going on. But yeah, so these are the total stats again. Let's get back into it. 73,000 HP, uh, 2,000 defense, uh, 202 speed, which isn't bad for, you know, the dungeons, 94% crit, thanks for that that uh, extra helmet we just equipped, and 211 crit damage. Perfect for what we're trying to make them. Uh, do. So guys, if this helped you out, hit the like button at the bottom. I really appreciate it. Thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, we can do a ton more videos of how to gear champions. If you want a suggestion, leave them in the comment below. I'm usually pretty quick responding to them. And uh, if you haven't, haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your week and uh, happy raiding.